Hey y'all, today we're checking out one of the most exciting camp stoves there is on the market. It burns everything. It burns pine cones, twigs, whatever you can find when you're hiking. Just gather them, stick them in your pocket. Preferably, you get stuff that's off the ground, dry, dead stuff, but it'll burn anything. It'll burn cow chips, charcoal, whatever you have, it'll burn. And we're gonna see how fast it boils a quart of water today. One of my favorite camp stoves. So exciting, let's check it out. Okay, so I got my twigs that we're gonna be using. You don't need many, it's very efficient. So it's very cold in Alabama, it does not usually get this cold. So we're gonna try to get some almost frozen water and see how fast it'll boil it. Nice little spring here. Okay, I got a quart jar. Let me get a little more. Got a quart of water. Almost frozen. We're gonna see how fast we can boil it. Okay. We have a new design for the Sierra stove base. This is the old one. We'll check, we'll take a look at the new one when we put it together. So should be a little more steady. These are under a pound. Great for backpacking. If you want even lighter, we have a titanium model. Just pull out the legs. Extremely, extremely light. We'll check out that and some of the accessories. You can get a windshield, spark arrest for this, and all kinds of cool stuff. We'll check that out later in another video, Lord willing. So it folds up, all designs, all CS stove designs folds up inside itself for extremely compact carrying. So the new one, these are made in the USA. Amazing. Have a little fan, a AA battery. This battery should run six hours at least if it's good. Really eight on low speed. You just clip in your battery hook, put on the base, pull out your legs, my hands a little cold, this is Alabama, but we are getting really cold here this year. We're on a frozen pond, this is really cold, unusual for us. So, you got this. Now you just start a fire in it. It measures about five inches diameter. The height is three and a half. The legs fit inside it, so we won't even measure them. This come. We have several different accessory kits. We have a pot that this goes inside of, so you have your pot, your stove, everything together. Okay, let's start the fire. My hands are cold. So you just start with any little twigs. Let me turn it on. It starts extremely easy inside it when you turn on your fan because it acts as a mini blacksmith forge. So it's way easier than starting normal fires. You just get a cotton ball or some leaves, line them up. Start with the little branches and go bigger. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down. It has three, ew, the cold's making my skin tender. Okay, it has three speeds, I mean it has off, Low and high speed, depending on if you want to simmer your pot, let it boil. So that's high, and then low. This gets extremely hot. It will should boil a normal quart of water in like four minutes, three to five minutes, depending on how hot you get your fire. You can burn everything, cow chips like I said, pine cones, whatever you want. You can burn, in the desert you burn cactus ribs, in the, you can always find little brushes usually. Because of the forge, even damp stuff, you need to start out with dry, but even damp stuff will burn. It's incredible. It's only been a couple of minutes and we already got some good coals in there. So let me just turn this down, save some of the wood, and I'll get a nice assortment of twigs sticking out. Like I, and we only start with this much wood. It does not take very much wood. Let me get out of the smoke. You can really boil a quart of water with not very much fuel. Extremely efficient. 
a lot safer if you're in an area that's very dry and you don't want to start a regular fire. So you, if you put the twigs in like this, it's actually really neat. As they burn, they just fall into it. And we have a grate so you can put your pot high off the water, off the stove to help it keep, help you so you can put twigs in while it's cooking even, which you want to be very careful when you do that. This is extremely dangerous boiling water because anytime you boil water, it's dangerous. Okay. So the water we got out of the creek, let's see what temperature it is. Thirty two point five Fahrenheit. So basically it's right at freezing. This water is basically almost below freezing. So we really need the fire grate, which we sell, but this should work. Okay, let me get some more twigs in. Because it's gonna be hard to feed this once it's lit. Once the pot's on with the water, you can take it off. And we do have a grate that you put on top so it's easy to feed why the pot's on there even. But we'll check out all the accessories in a new video, Lord Whaling. This would probably not smoke so bad if I had it on high. Okay. So let's do this. Okay, I'm starting the stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, let's see what temperature the water is. It's about two and a half minutes. So, as you can see, there's not quite as much smoke. You do want to start out with some coals in the bottom. You don't want to just start your fire and stick your pot on, like we did. And um, it's about 115. So, you probably wouldn't have to restock it the whole time. I'm thinking about putting a couple more twigs in. Okay, it's at four minutes and it's about 142. Okay, it took about nine minutes to get to boiling, starting from 32 degree water without a lid. With a lid, you can do it in four minutes with normal water. We'll do another video in the future and show you that and all the other cool accessories that you can have with this thing. It's a great stove, extremely excited about it, made in the USA. Okay, after you um, get done cooking, you can leave the fan on to make it cool down faster. It um, cools down very fast, I mean you want to be very careful, don't touch it when it's hot. Um, battery base disconnects, the new base we have. So, there you go, it just folds up, put your battery pack around it, stick it in, and you're good to go. Okay, we're going to boil some water with a lid because I can't wait to show you what this stove can do. Um, we're just going to stick this on the end of the video. This is tap water, about 65 degrees. So, let's see how fast it can boil it lid on okay okay we're at two minutes and like I said this is tap water it started out at 65 instead of 32 so it's 30 some degrees warmer I'm gonna take the temperature it's at two minutes okay it's already 130 degrees so I think one of the biggest differences though is just the fact of having the lid really makes stuff boil a lot faster it keeps the heat in so let's see how long it takes to boil Good, nice boil here, you can take a look. Um, 112 degrees, a very, very good boil. And about four and a half minutes, probably slightly under. And that, that's what this can do. I mean, you could even get it in four minutes if you really chalked the burner bowl and got a lot of coals in there. Some people say even three minutes. Um, probably not with wood, if you had charcoal, you could do it in three minutes, probably. Um, this is a great stove. I mean, it's boiling good. Let me show you. Well, if I take it off, we can bring the camera over in a little while. Um, yeah, it boils water in about four minutes. If you don't want to stock it constantly, four and a half to five. Um, like I said, 
it has a reduced tab upgrade kits where you have the grate so you can stock it constantly if you really want to boil the water fast but a couple a minute or so isn't as big a deal this puts out tons of heat but before you get it started you do want to have your coals in the bottom instead of just putting your water on right away and if you do more than a quart of water you really are going to need to stock it at least once but I mean you can boil a quart of water with just a bundle of sticks about that big it's a great stove thanks for watching there you boil this and like I said if you stocked it constantly and you had your grate you probably could do it in four minutes but I just didn't stock it constantly um, it's a great stove subscribe to our channel plan on having just kind of straight great stuff in the future and um, check out this video on cooking on this Pixport grill thanks for watching